Okay, to prevent content from being exported to a bill of materials from Creo into Excel, there's several ways to do this. You can obviously just do, uh, I'm only interested in the top level export only of the design, which if we flag that and say, uh, just export the top only, it will limit everything to the first level uh, that is currently within the design. However, if you want a little bit more control over what is being reported from uh, anywhere within the design, the best thing to do is actually use the NitroBomb filter parameters. There's two options for that. One of them is called no report and no walk, and you enable them by reporting them here. It's also important to include them in the all params so that they always show up so you know what the status of things are. Uh, basically, where those are located is there's a couple of hidden columns uh, that are just kind of collapsed by default. Uh, the NitroBomb filter is where that's located. So if we wanted to come in and say, um, don't walk this particular assembly. Uh, and let's say that we also did not want to report uh, any of these items down here. So we could actually come in and say, well, for these particular items, we don't want to report the values uh, of those items if they show up. Um, once we make those changes, we're just importing these back into Creo, which is creating a parameter in each of those model called Nitro underscore bomb filter. And um, if we take a look at this, you'll notice that the values have been set. Now, if we take a look at our current state of the export, you'll notice that there's a lot of content here. Um, if we hit the export reports, because those options are set to apply those filters, NitroBomb will actually prune that data down. So we have less information now. And you'll notice that that assembly that we said don't walk, which is here is not walking the rest of that, but it's reporting the main item. If we come back to our parameter settings and let's take a look at what else we had here. So if we look for, um, let's say this part right here, anywhere within our structure, it's not being reported, uh, but it is in fact being reported, you know, as uh, something that can be modified. So if we come back and we, and we turn this on uh, by simply saying, let's go delete uh, that particular parameter and value from that model and say, uh, import the changes. And then we'll export a fresh report just so we can kind of see what's going on. Now, if we expand this out, I want to make sure I have the right name. So I'm going to search in our full bomb for that particular name and there it is. So um, parameter filtering is actually pretty easy. If you, if you don't want to apply it at all, you can just get everything out. You can just turn the option off. And those models still have those parameters in them. They're just not being used. Now, why would you want those uh, parameters to be in the models? Well, if you have a design that is consistently being reused across other designs and you don't really want to report it all the time, having that parameter, that NitroBomb filter parameter uh, being in a model uh, will always ensure that it reports the top level item, no matter where it's used and which designs but doesn't report any of the additional information that needs to be there, or it's just something you don't want to report ever, but it is part of the design for some reason. So uh, very easy to, to use, uh, very beneficial. And um, uh, we recommend that you use it, especially if you have uh, data that's coming from other vendors or sources or step files or anything like that that needs to be uh, selectively excluded.